Welcome stackers! Time to do my first local coin shop review. Luckily, the largest Canadian dealer has an office here in Montreal where we can go purchase all of the precious metal we want. Let's see how good Kitco is as a local coin shop. Please note that the opinions expressed in this video are my own. I am not a financial expert nor a financial advisor. You should always do your own research before making any financial decisions. For this series, I will try to establish a standard way of evaluating the various coin shops. I have weighted the factors to 50% of the score based on the price and expenses, and the other half on buying experience and customer service. Here is the scorecard I will be using for all of the coin shops. Kitco is located downtown Montreal. As such, you can expect a lot of traffic driving there and some difficulty parking. This is my third visit to their store, and this time around I did not have much difficulty parking. On my previous visit, I had to search for about 10 minutes to find a parking spot, and the one I found was limited to 20 minutes, which was really stressful. If you go there by public transportation, there is a metro station two streets away, so that is very easy. Since it is downtown, I would expect that many of the bus routes would pass close by as well. In terms of parking cost, there are public parking lots close by, but these are crazy expensive. The best is to use the parking meters on the street if you can find one. I put in $3 and had plenty of time to do all of my business and even had time to go to other stores in the area before the meter ran out. So next time, $2 will probably cover more than what I need. So here is the scorecard with the updated information. Located on the 9th floor at 620 Catcar, this is close to the Hudson Bay Company for those of you who know the downtown area. The store is located in a building that has a lot of jewelry stores, entire floors of them in fact. The office is really clean and consists of a weight area where they display some of the products they sell and a few private rooms where you can purchase and sell precious metals. When I got there, no one was waiting and it took about 3 minutes before they called me in. So very good in terms of wait time. The other two times I had been there, I had a longer wait time. The first time, someone was already waiting before me and I ended up waiting for about 10 minutes. The second time, no one was waiting, but again, I ended up waiting for about 10 minutes. So overall, it's not bad, unless you have a 20 minute parking meter. Business hours are pretty bad. They are not open during the evening or the weekends. So you have to go there during the day on weekdays, which might be impossible for many of you. Customer service has always been great. All three visits were a good experience. So this is the scorecard updated with all of the information and the scores. The best way to do business with Kitco is to go on their website. See the link in the description. There, you can see what they have on special and compare with other dealers. They have a good selection of bars, rounds, bullions, and even collector pieces.
They sell silver, gold, platinum, palladium and rhodium. The only metal lacking in their offering would be copper, but these are more fun pieces, not really stacking or collecting pieces. When I compared the prices to all of the other Canadian dealers, Kitco was cheaper. I also called my local coin shops and Kitco was much less expensive. So they will get maximum points for pricing. The bars I purchased were new and still in their protective sheets. The gold coin I purchased came with a free coin capsule and did not appear to have any damage on it. The employee also gave me a free bar tube for the silver bars. So here we are with the completed scorecard. Overall, I would say Kitco did very well. There you have it. What do you think of Kitco as a place to purchase in Montreal? I think that if you can find the time during the day, it's a good place to buy. I am curious to see how the other local coin shops will compare. So far, I have only visited two of them and I have not started the evaluation process. Thank you for joining me today and remember, if you are not stacking, you are failing.